Hi guys, uh, my name is the Fearless Hyena and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I will focus on the uh, Lao Ka Long uh, Shaw Brothers uh, Kung Fu movies. Uh, most, of them, most of them came out uh, from 1975 up until 1985, which is pretty much the golden era of Kung Fu. Uh, for those of you who don't know Lao Ka Long, he was one of the three uh, uh, best and well-known directors during the, the Kung Fu days in Hong Kong. Uh, him, Lao Ka Lang, aka Liu Chang Lang, Samo Wang and Young Wu Ping were pretty much the, the three best um, Kung Fu directors in uh, during that era. Uh, if you don't know Lao Ka Lang guys, he played with Jackie Chang in uh, Jackie Chang's Drunken Master 2. He is uh, credited for uh, directed uh, also uh, this movie. Uh, well, he had uh, creative uh, differential with uh, Jackie Chang at, uh, before the end of the movie so uh, he left the set but still Jackie uh, uh, put uh, his name uh, and uh, uh, on the on the movie for, uh, as a director and also as obviously as an actor because he fights Jackie Chang in the beginning of the movie opening scene uh, where he uh, they they fought under the train and also um, they meet up in a bar and fight against the Axe Gang. So, uh, and he's, uh, like I said, he's one of the best directors uh, during the, those days. But he also, uh, you know, acts in movie and uh, he's an amazing uh, Kung Fu master. Uh, in real life, uh, his father was uh, taught Kung Fu by, by Butcher Wing, who was uh, one of the best uh, disciples of Wang Feiyang, who is uh, a true... Um, Kung Fu master in China, and uh, well, I mean, Jackie Chan plays his uh, his his role in in that movie, and uh, a lot of in a lot of movies, uh, the Wang Feiyang stories are very popular, but uh, he existed in real life, and like I said, uh, one of his disciples, Butcher Wing, trained the father of Lao Ka Long, so uh, Lao Ka Long is a real authentic uh, Kung Fu master. Uh, uh, and a true fact about all of his movies is that, um, like, like like Young Wu Ping is very creative to uh, in movies to produce and uh, film uh, you know kung fu sequence that uh, uh, are not uh, really authentic uh, when you when you talk about real life kung fu. But uh, Lao Ka and but they're great. But Lao Ka Long always uh, makes an effort to uh, put uh, the truest uh, form of kung fu in, uh, even though it's uh, it's a movie. But uh, a lot of his films have a true kung fu uh, form. So let's begin. His uh, directional debut here is, uh, uh, pardon me, the uh, Spiritual Boxer. Not the most action-oriented movie, but uh, it's about black magic and white magic, uh, kung fu, with Wang Yu, comedy kung fu, pretty good. Now this one is an excellent film, guys. A challenge of the master. Uh, it's this. It's a story about a young Wang Feiyang, uh, played by um, Thirty Six Chambers, uh, aka Master Killer star uh, Gordon Yu. And uh, very nice film about you know uh, a young Wang Feiyang. Uh, uh, training and you know uh, becoming you know a kung fu master and a legend. Very good film. Uh, all those films are, I will show you guys in uh, the order of uh, by year and increasing up until if it's a, it is from 1975. Here this is 1976 and up until uh, 1985. So it's all in chron chronological order. This is a true gem. If you did not see this film, uh, try to find it. It's Executioner from Shaolin, uh, one of the best film, you know, a kung fu film of all time. Um, it's uh, the story about um, a rebel who uh, wants to, uh, uh, you know, uh, kill uh, the white monk Pak Mei, who uh, is associated with, uh, you know. Um, uh, I would say criminal by warlord, but uh, Pac Me has a special kill skill. His uh, body is like uh, is like a steel. He practices uh, hard gi gi kong, and uh, this guy here, Chang Quan Tai, who is a real life uh, Hong Fist master, uh, fights him uh, three times, two times in the movie, and each time he has to come back and uh, retrain and uh, try to refocus uh, some new technique to try to uh, penetrate the uh, steel body of Pac Me, who is played by Lo Lei. And a uh, very nice film. Try to find this one. Another uh, Kung Fu gem here is uh, Hero, uh, Heroes of the East. Uh, again, played by Gordon Liu. And uh, it's the story about uh, 
a Chinese uh, ma a master who um, is married to a Japanese uh, wife and uh, he has to prove to her that the Chinese mar martial arts uh, are uh, equal or better to Japanese martial arts and um, he has to fight like a judo expert, karate expert, new jitsu expert and, uh, and many others so uh, very very nice film about you know a lot of uh, a lot of kung fu and martial art in general Shaolin Mantis, pretty good film, again starring uh, Gordon Liu, but uh, the main star is uh, him, David Chang. Uh, David Chang was uh, uh, a male star at the Shaw Brothers uh, during those days, but uh, he, was, uh, he, he was known for his uh, charisma and acting. His uh, Kung Fu skill was like uh, second or third in his uh, resume. Um, David Chang um, in that movie he said he never felt so good after a movie uh, physically wise and mentally wise because he was trained by Lau Kalang to, to do the Mentis style and um, probably the one of his best Kung Fu role because Lau Kalang was uh, right uh, close to him and uh, you know trained him before uh, he uh, shot the movie so a very nice film well, here is the Three Six Chambers of Shaolin, aka Master Killer. If you did not see this movie or uh, never heard of it, try to find it. Uh, very good uh, action film, good story, good training sequence. Story about uh, Gordon Liu here who goes to the Shaolin Temple and uh, has to uh, train. And uh, in each 35 chamber uh, in Shaolin, each chamber has a different uh, skill to master. And he is so good that at the end he creates his own 36 chamber. So that's why it's called 36 chambers. And uh, obviously it's a, there's a story uh, of revenge, so a very nice film. This is the sequel to his uh, directional debut, the uh, Shadow ba Boxer, Shadow Boxing, sorry. So again, uh, starring Wang Yu, and uh, it's about black magic and uh, white magic. Here is uh, the uh, <laughs> the true uh, brother of Lao Kar Lang. This is Lao Kar Lang, and this is uh, Lao Kar Liu. Lao Kar Liu uh, was uh, not a director, but a great stuntman and a great uh, kung fu actor and a real kung fu master. He plays in with Sam Wong in a couple of gems like The Odd Couple and Warriors 2. Here's a good one, Mad Monkey Kung Fu, where Lao Kar Long star in that movie and also obviously directs. Uh, he plays uh, the mon a monkey style uh, master and uh, but he gets you know uh, tricked and crippled uh, by Lo Lo who is the uh, bad guy in that movie and uh, he has to uh, pretty much the whole film has to beg and you know uh, uh, for survive but to survive because he cannot uh, use his uh, monkey style anymore but he finds a young man and he trains him in the monkey style and both of them get revenge at the end very nice film whoa this is a nice one also dirty ho uh, starring Wang Yu and uh, Gordon Liu uh, those uh, those two uh, actors are very good in martial art. And uh, the story about this one is pretty cool because Gordon Liu plays um, a young prince, and uh, he cannot be seen fighting in public, you know, because he's a prince. So, um, but he has to fight because there's a a plot to. Um, assassinate him and uh, it's all about you know espionage and uh, trying to uh, killing to kill him uh, you know uh, before he reaches uh, his uh, temple and a lot of the action here and the kung fu sequence are um, are are, are uh, fighting but uh, without anybody in the public seeing the uh, the prince fights so uh, i know it's complicated to to say but trust me uh, in the movie it's incredible very complicated uh, kung fu uh, sequence in that movie. Very nice. All right, uh, here we are, uh, close to uh, 1980, 81. This is a more uh, uh, contemporary movie, but still in the old days. My young auntie. Uh, here, this is the guy who plays with uh, with Lao Ka Long in uh, Mad Monkey Kung Fu. Very acrobatic guy. Can be compared to uh, Yong Liu. Pretty cool film. A lot of action but very comedic so here is the sequel to the three six chambers of Shaolin very good also return to the three six chambers of Shaolin uh, Gordon Yu plays a guy who wants to be trained at the Shaolin temple but uh, they refuse him so uh, he stays uh, still and uh, he has to work uh, with bamboos and uh, rope and uh, but I mean he has access to the training uh, 
uh, training ground of the Shaolin Temple. So uh, he, uh, uh, in the same time, I mean, he works for uh, building, uh, you know, walls and uh, and uh, houses. But he also uh, copies all the trainings, the training uh, movement of the Shaolin Temple, and he developed his own style of kung fu. Uh, very nice film. Martial Club, very nice film about Wang Feiyang. Um, one of the fight scene at the end of the movie uh, is uh, one of my favorite scene, kung fu scene of all time. Very nice film. Martial Club. Legendary Weapon of China. A lot of critic critics uh, are saying that this is probably one of the you know all time uh, best uh, kung fu film. Uh, why? Well, because it is a great kung fu film. Uh, there's a lot of weapon and a lot of style using in that movie. A lot of you know different uh, kung fu uh, uh, style. Very uh, complex and uh, a lot of you know uh, detail in the uh, form. So uh, this is Lok Long guys. He plays in that movie, obviously. And uh, Gordon Liu uh, again. So yeah, pretty good film. The Jimmy Weapon of China. This movie is incredible. The Eight Diagram Pole Fighter. Um, it's a very serious film. Uh, the, uh, the 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 young hero in that movie, which is uh, again played by Gordon Liu, is a master of the pole fighting technique. And also, there's a fight in that movie where he confronts um, Philip Kuo, who is a great kung fu actor. Uh, he plays a um, Shaolin monk, and he, uh, Gordon Wu wants to leave the Shaolin monk, but he has to beat. Uh, he he wants to leave the Shaolin temple, but he has to beat the Shaolin monk, master of the of the, of the pole. And but but there are two masters, and the fight, uh, both of them have uh, pole, uh, are incredible. Disciple of the Three Six Chambers. This completes the trilogy of the Three Six Chambers of Shaolin. Uh, it's the more recent one. Uh, very nice, also. Uh, star again this acrobatic uh, fellow for fellow uh, for from um, Mad Monkey Kung Fu and Ma Yang Ang Ti. Very capable uh, Kung Fu guy. Very uh, fast and agile uh, actor. Good film. And I'll finish my video here with uh, one of the last uh, Shaw Brothers uh, directed movie by Lau Kar Lang. It stars a young Jet Li, martial art of Shaolin. Uh, very epic film. Uh, they shot uh, a lot of uh, um, in the Shaolin Temple, original or Shaolin Temple. They also um, shot uh, during, uh, in uh, on the Great Wall of China. Very epic me movies, movie, and uh, Jet Li is uh, incredible in that film. So that's complete my uh, all my Lao Ka Long Shaw Brothers uh, movies. Lao Ka Long also did a lot of independent movies, but uh, most of uh, his uh, Hall of Fame classic kung fu films are in, are in here. So hope you enjoy, guys. Stay tuned. There's a lot of lot more Shaw Brothers uh, kung fu films that are coming up. Keep in shape. Bye.